different views though, and you've written about this in the past, so I'd love your view on it now. Are rates going down because there is this increased perception that the cycle is ending, the hiking cycle is ending, or are rates going down because perceptions of global growth are rolling over? And in the near term, I get it, you trade on just the move, but when do you start to trade on the reasons for the move into next year? Yeah, look, we're, you know, so we, you know, we have to kind of serve many constituents. Uh, this is a trading call, okay? Uh, for our core, you know, kind of view, we, we remain of the view that the bear market is not over, primarily because of the view we've had all year, which is that earnings ultimately will decide the end of the bear market. And we think earnings expectations for next year are significantly too high, maybe as much as 20%. And that will happen over the next three to six months, meaning the numbers will finally come down. Part of the reason we threw in the towel on that happening now is because we just got a sense that companies wouldn't talk about 2023, which they did not, and therefore the earnings remain high for next year. But make, I want to make it clear, over the next three months, we think that will change. We think companies will discuss 2023, and the reality will set in that the numbers have to come down. That will form the bear market low probably sometime in the first quarter of next year. Are we seeing signs of that now with some of these tech companies, Mike, reporting cuts, hiring freezes or layoffs? Well, let's separate that because, um, first of all, we saw many of these large tech companies report, you know, pretty weak third and fourth quarter. But then when you actually look what happened in 2023 numbers, they didn't come down that much, at least for the majority of them. And part of that's just, you know, kind of laziness of the numbers. Nobody talked about it, so they just kind of keep them there. But then I want to talk about the cost cutting, okay? So, I, look, this is the way, this is, the, this is what will get us bullish, by the way. If we saw more aggressive cost cutting, not just by the tech companies, but by companies more broadly, this acknowledgement that we have a cost problem. And, you know, obviously we don't want to see people get fired, but, you know, layoffs, unfortunately, are part of that slowdown. When that layoff cycle picks up in earnest, that will actually be one of the keys for us to get bullish because that means the bleeding will stop on the operating leverage. Final question. You hinted at the answer to it a little bit earlier in the interview. I've asked this question all morning, Mike. You get the choice, the outcome of CPI or the outcome of the midterms right now. I can give you one. What would it be? If I could see it right now, Clarence speaks. Um, I would say uh, I'd probably rather see the midterm election outcome because that has more lasting impact potentially.